Hello and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Today we'll be looking at the mod KW Rocketry. Um, yeah, it's pretty sweet. Basically, it's a mod which adds a whole bunch of new types, uh, new parts. Sorry, of all different varieties that you can. Um, you can check out and use. There's like much bigger ones than a default, and there's it has a really nice style to it. I really like it. So let's take a look. So I'll load in, say, a small satellite and build a ship to take that up into orbit, shall we? So let's have a look. It, this this mod's really good as well because it comes with a whole bunch of uh, a whole bunch of ships built in, which is always good. So I'll take this satellite for example. Um, okay, I didn't put that there. That's a bit weird. Okay, let's just take this. Uh, okay, that's weird. No, let's not do that. Uh, Iron powered space probe. There we go. Perfect. So let's take that. Let's bring that up here. And first thing we'll want to do is. Um, get uh, fairing. So there's all sorts of different sizes of stuff. You can get like this really little small fairing. Um, you know, again, hang on. So there's like, you know, small ones. And then you can get it, uh, you know, they're good for like bringing like satellites and stuff into orbit. And you can get it for just like massive things like landers and stuff. Um, looks pretty good. So I'll get a reasonable sized fairing. There we go. That should pretty much cover it. And then, hang on, so I got that, so I'll get the the nose, hang on, symmetrical, there we go. So what you, put, what you do is first you put the fairing base underneath, um, then you get the nose, then you don't do the side bits here, you get the nose cone, either you, you put the um, smaller bit on the uh, green things out there, so yeah. And then from the nose cone you put the... Um, the walls underneath, but we don't actually need to do that because it's pretty small. So I'm just gonna stick that on there. There we go. That's our nose cone. Now there's all sorts of things. Like the smallest of them are like this size, you know, which is like the same as the smaller ones of the default. And it gets quite long with a nice little KSP logo. And it goes all the way up to, um, where is it? Like this, which is just massive. There's an orange version, but it's the same size. It's absolutely huge. Like if I stuck that on the bottom of there, massive, way, way bigger than the like default parts. And some of them have pretty nice stuff. Like look at that, it says, it's got like the nice, space program on the side really liking the style of that so yeah hang on if I just remove the fairing for a second and move this really high up because this might turn out being quite a big ship because KW rocketry they tend to be big ships let's just say that so I add that there and then the new types of engines as well there's some really good variety so you have like like real rockets do they have like the multiple engine things so it has like you know, four engines in one, and um, then you got like you know these little two-engine ones. It's got like these little stubby ones, for, like space tugs and stuff. And then it's got the more sort of beefy engines. And then the biggest engine, most powerful, is this beast, which just produces an insane amount of power. Of course, it's got this sort of one, and it's the this one, which is really the workhorse of its tier, it's described as. That's pretty good. So yeah, I'll get, let's see, I might get that, though I don't really need one that, the thing is, the big four engine ones, they're more powerful, but at the same time, they're less efficient, less fuel efficient, so it's not that great. But you know what, I'll, it'll be fine, I'll get that. And then, it's quite good as well, the interstage stuff is pretty good, so whereas before we'd sort of stick a decoupler on the bottom, um, hang on, I'll just 
Oh wait, I can't demonstrate that. But with a normal engine, you stick it to coupler and then the fairing would automatically sort of pop up. Well, unless you manually manually put in the fairing. And while it is that it's more sort of manual, it can um, lead, you know, gives you a bit more freedom of choice when it comes to the fairing. And there's the normal sort of, say, 2 point... Ooh, that's... Yeah, that engine is a little bit big for that. But that's fine. Ooh, whatever. Okay, so I'll just stick one of... You know what? I'll just get like that. That fits. So yeah, I can uh, stick the average that like on there, and that looks pretty sweet. And as well, there's um, because before you'd have to put say the fet the um, the cup or whatever, and then put like a adapter thingy, but. With the with this mod actually, there's ones that are a d an adapter and a decoupler in one. So this adapter goes over the engine and it decouples it, which is really useful actually. And it looks pretty sweet. So there on the bottom of there, I'll add one of these beasts with a ginormous griffin at the bottom. And look at this. This rocket already looks really good. Alright, so... Hang on, I'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, this rocket is looking pretty sweet already. Alright, so next up, I'll... Uh, let's see... Ah, okay, so I'll add some... No, I won't add that type. I'll add some of these on. There we go, and then... And I'll stick some of the slightly smaller ones on. And then on that, I'll stick some of these. And of course, it comes with all its own nose cones. Uh, oh, that one's too big. There we go. Looking pretty good already. I'll just stick some fuel lines on there. It comes with some different types of um, struts as well, which is quite useful. Thing is, um, with these, say this has a st the normal one, like the default strut, has a strength of about 150, whereas the newer ones have a strength of 4,000 to no, 42,000, and then 220,000. Although they're much heavier, it, like the heavy strut is insanely heavy and insanely strong. It's ridiculous. So I tend not to use them much, but when I do, I'll stick a medium because personally, I just think that it's not really worth it for the heavy because they're just insane. There we go, I'll just add some of that. Just do the staging. Um, and that goes. Okay, yeah. So this also, yeah. It adds a whole bunch of new um uh, solid rocket boosters because uh, the default ones I've got them here so it's got like that one and then there's this very sort of merry nice looking one and it's got like the Sepatron no <laughs> didn't mean to do that hang on I'll just redo that okay so as I was saying um, this music's pretty loud. I really should have turned it down before. Oh well, it shouldn't be too bad. Great. As I was saying, it has way, like loads more solid rocket boosters. You got loads from this little thing here to like the four, which is the Thor is gigantic. Look at the size of that. And that's just one solid rocket booster that'll burn out. That's crazy. And that has its own version of the uh, Sepatron. Which looks pretty nice. It's a bit bigger and a bit more powerful. And it's got like... It's got...
got these which have this little bit at the top. It's got its own nose cone designed for them. And it's got, let's have a look. Yeah, it's got all sorts. It's got the globe. I really like the look of this one. I mean, it doesn't actually look nice. I might stick this on here actually because I really like the look of this. Yeah, there we go. Actually, stick that there. Three, three pairs of um, things. That looks pretty sweet in my opinion. Great. So let's just name this uh, KW Probe Launcher. Oh, and of course, I want um, some SAS. Now, the four you when you're using these, you really want to be careful with where you, where you put your SAS because generally the force of the big um, the big engines, like most of the time, that your ship will break where the SAS is placed. Like if I say put the SAS here and then put this here, it, the ship would be very likely to just collapse in on itself here. Because, um, the SAS isn't designed for parts so big and it can't put up with the amount of force. So really, if you are adding it, you want to put a lot of struts connecting it to the rest of the ship. Um, or just find somewhere like at the top where you can safely put it. As, as well, it's sort of doesn't really go with the aesthetic of it, it doesn't really suit it. So you know what, I'm gonna... No, I'm not gonna launch without SAS, that would be suicide. Right, there we go, SAS there, and a whole bunch of struts to keep it in place. But yeah, when you're using your SAS, you definitely want to... Uh, you definitely want to keep it stable. That should keep it in place, and then I'll just, of course, add some stability enhancers. That should be fine. Right, well, I think we're ready to go. Let's move them there. Save. And launch. Now normally I'd stick, you know, mech jab on a ship like this, but since this is just a demonstration, I don't feel like I need it. Now, look at that beauty. Doesn't that... <laughs> well, part of it's intact. Hang on, what's the hydraulic detachment manifold? Yeah. I was actually thinking before that maybe I hadn't, maybe I should have um, put more struts connecting the side boosters to the middle because it's only held up by the middle, but there isn't really room to put any supporting struts on the side unless I sort of stick them like there under the boosters. Oh, I guess that works. Okay, let's try that again. And also add like some struts between there. There we go. Uh, just add the things. I, I want to stage these boosters as well, so let's just check this. So those fire. When those three break off, those fire. That's good. I'll also add some sepatrons to these, um, just in case. Place. 
go to level. There we go, that'll do. And we are all set to launch. Oh, wait, I need to actually... These need to go... Up there. There we go. Save. And... Launch number two. Let's do this. Ah. Oh. God, it's like 11 o'clock here. Oh. Anyway. I love I love the new launch pad. Like, from 0.19. Look at those scorch marks. To be fair, those scorch marks are more likely from, like, exploded ships than, like, launched ships. But whatever. So here we go, this beauty, which looks a little bit like a, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna, yeah, I'll leave that to your imagination, but it's fine, <laughs> because it looks glorious, look at this, ah, uh, that's a screenshot and a half right there, Kerbal Space Prog, whatever, maybe not such good placing of the, uh, the supports, in the way of the words, anyway, there we go, look, we can actually look inside the fairing, looks pretty nice. We've got our um, satellite held safely in there. Let's launch. Okay, here we go. It flies pretty nicely, i got to say. This bit of the satellite flew out of the fairing, even though the fairing was so attacked. It's a bit weird. Well, that didn't go so well. Um, you, you saw the uh, the SRBs, the new SRBs firing off at the end there. They look pretty sweet. I love the aesthetics. Um, I'm not going to try that again, but you got the point. Really good looking. Really nice mod. Uh, personally, I love it. I'd recommend it. It's on the front page of the spaceport. Uh, I'll put the link in the description below, of course. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd give it, I'd give it 4.9, personally. I think one thing they could add would be maybe a custom KW, uh, KW rocket tree. Uh, command module. That'd be sweet. Something that sort of fit, fit in with the aesthetics of this. And maybe an SAS module that could actually sort of withstand the force. Other than that, excellent mod. I love it. Um, yeah, thanks for, uh, thanks for watching.